My name is Rob Haig, and I've been a violin maker and cellos full-time for about 10 years. got into this because I was looking for something else to do. I've been working in an office for the better part of 25 years, and I needed more creativity. I had an interest in the violin. There's really no typical day. I start off my day focused on making instruments, that's primarily what I do, and that goes from there. Sometimes there's distractions, other times you have people coming for um, opinions, I guess, or they need some repairs, and uh, so you just don't really know what to expect on any given day. What I found though is that I end up uh, getting a lot of my work done on weekends for some reason. A little strange, but uh, that's how it works. You know, the personal aspect, the, the thing that I didn't realize when I got into making violins is that a community sort of forms around you. You know, there's the people that are musicians, there's people that are teachers, there's students, there's performers, um, and you end up being connected to all of these people in different ways, and then you get to know them personally a bit, um, and it's it's kind of nice. You run into them now and then, you get caught up on what's going on in their lives, and uh, you talk about music, you talk about instruments, and it's really kind of fun. And I just never expected to be connected to something like that when I started this. I think it, at this stage of my career, and it's probably been the same since day one. You set out to build the ultimate violin, right? Or the ultimate, ultimate cello. And then you have to ask yourself, well, what is that? You know, it's such a subjective world. Um, nobody can build one instrument that everybody's gonna think is the best, right? So, as I look forward, I, I wanna continue to enhance my skill level have violins more finely crafted, I guess. I want to understand some of the mysteries related to sound and wood and bringing the best out of wood, and I think that just comes with experience. I'm at a stage now where, because I do most of it by hand, and because it's so physical, and because I'm not as young as I used to be, I have to be careful how much hard physical work I do to avoid repetitive strain injuries. So I've got a couple of, I have enough wood for a couple more cellos, so I'd like to build a couple of those. And, um, you know, I've, I've got several years worth of wood for violin, so of course I'm going to continue.